YouTube, Susan here again, and I have an update on my mega prison. Um, I've been doing some building on it, and I've got it to the next stage. I did um, add another layer to this fence in in the end, um, just because I think it looks more scale to this huge building to have a little more fence on it. Go. Let's go see. The uh, addition to the fence, by the way, is all the way around the complex. There we go. Alright, so. I have obviously gotten the floors put in. All the way up to the top. Um, I started adding decoration to the bottom floor here installing things that I wanted to do. Let's have a look. First of all, I have assigned the colors for what type of inmates they handle, and the top floor is the Green Mile, uh, in honor of Stephen King, who wrote the Green Mile, uh, and that's death row inmates. Then comes the red tier, which is aggravated assault inmates. Then orange tier, fraud, inmates and yellow tier are robbery inmates blue tier are drunk and disorderly so if you got thrown in the drunk tank this is where you come main level is prisoner intake and services and there is the intake booth let's see intake register prisoner here i'm going to have somebody in here to take their information and their fingerprints etc and this is where they will be stored, those records. And, uh, okay, so back here over to the door. And this way, <coughs> excuse me, this is the kitchen, which is professional staff only. Daily count of knives, mandatory, report to CO. That's commanding officer. This is where the prisoners are going to have their food prepared. There's a bank of fridges and freezers. There's storage all the way around here. We have uh, quite the prep surface in case they have to cut up vegetables and stuff. Another surface here right beside the stoves. Bank of stoves as well with <coughs> ventilation fans. And three sinks to do dishes in. And that, as I said, is going to be staffed professionally, not the prisoners. This is the laundry. And now this one is prisoner staffed. Uh, CCO for tier schedule and work detail assigned. So every tier is going to have their time in the laundry and their duties there. Um, be it wash, dry, fold, whatever. These are all for folding um, and the storage for things like laundry detergent and stain relievers and all that stuff. Okay, so next down here is the prisoner showers. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> uh, each tier, again, has assigned showers. And three inmates from each tier can have a shower at the same time. And the uh, guards will be looking after them. So there's no, no uh, chance anybody is going to shank anybody else in here. Okay, now I've embedded all of the lighting into the ceilings. Which is one reason I did the double layer like a ceiling and a floor so that I could embed lighting and it wouldn't show through up the top so now down here is a supply closet with more storage it's lit in there there's lights close those and let's go upstairs and see what I've done there to blue tier here we go the floor is basically in here I haven't done much here other than plot out where the bars are going to go, etc. So 
where people are going to walk as opposed to the cells themselves. And I am going to be embedding the lighting again to simply clean it up and make more room in here. Uh, okay, let's try the next floor to yellow tier. And here we go. Same same deal as the floor below. Got to embed the lighting and actually build the cells. Um, and again, same. This is orange to the red tier. Same again. I haven't really done a lot on the main floors. I did, however, start tinkering with the green one just to see how things are going to set up. And here's what I got so far up here. Okay, I started out with the cells. This is for one inmate. You got your bathroom, your toilet, and a sink. That's it. And a bed. Death row. They are not getting any more out of me. Anyway, there's uh he gets he gets a window with some light and some air. It's totally barred, so there's no escape. And another one. And two more over here. I have yet to fill up the rest of the floor. Uh, but I did, however, create a guard's office because every floor is going to have a guard's office to uh, take care of the prisoners 24-7. Uh, and in here we have some books and some uh, drawers there for his paperwork, etc. His desk a chair, lots of light, and uh, a view from the outside here. There we go. Both sides. There we go. Okay. You can see the water, etc. down there. And also in the office is a bed. As I said, it was a 24-7 uh, duty, so yeah, they're going to have to sleep there too when they're on duty. But anyway, that is all I've got done so far, but that was a lot of work getting all these floors in and figuring out how to do the staircase. And it's all coming from the back of the building here. Um, you either go to one side or the other to get the stairs. And as you can see, it's up as well as down. So this is how the prisoners are going to come down to get their meals. They still have to put stuff downstairs. I still need an exercise area and a common area as well as a place to eat. So everything will be down here. I left the center open so that anybody down here, any prisoner guards and stuff can see up, totally up to the top of the building and know if there's any going to be any problems, any riots and uh, they can sound the alarm right then. There's a big bank of lights at the top, the very top, which is going to light all the way down here. And uh, that's all I've got so far. So I thought I'd give you a little progress up for, uh, update here. And uh, stay tuned, I'll have another video when I've got more done. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. Bye for now.